everybody. I'm Barry and I'm with Barry Anderson Studios. I wanted to share with you uh, a technique for one of the uh, portraits that I saw that I thought was pretty interesting. And uh, this guy is named Marco Grob. And he's a photographer that shot a few pictures of Leonardo DiCaprio. And the one that I'm uh, that I was interested in recreating was the one with black and white that I'm going to show you in a second. And I thought that was a really interesting look. So I wanted to try it in the studio to see how he got his lighting, and I couldn't quite figure it out. So what I did was uh, I recreated it in the studio, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the studio before you can uh, edit. And I'm going to show you how, you how you would edit this picture as well. So uh, let's go. So here's the Leonardo DiCaprio photo that I thought was really cool, and I uh, wanted to see if I can emulate this look and I was trying to figure out the lighting at first I thought it was two lights one coming from the side angle down from the back and one coming up from the front and uh, going up but this turns out to be incorrect because both sides of the face have that really crunchy look that really uh, harsh look from the raking light and raking light comes down at an angle almost parallel to the face um, at least this one's almost parallel to the face. It's not parallel to the face. Um, and then uh, the light that's coming from the front is actually a softbox in order to fill in detail. Uh, at least that's the way it turned out in my experiment. And I'll show you all the details from, from there. But basically, you have two lights in the back. One, one from the right side and one from the uh, left side. And they're coming down on the face. You can see that strip of, of, of uh, darkness down the, the, the nose. That's because there's two light sources from the back. Now, in order to fill in the rest of the information, in order to fill in the, brighten up the face, in other words, you know, there's one from the front, and that's a soft box. That's soft light, and there's two harsh lights in the back. So in order to replicate that look, what I did was, uh, here's, here's the actual photo. You can see all that detail on my face. Personally, I don't want to see all that detail on my face. I think it's kind of rough and ugly, but uh, I'm doing it for you guys. So here's a here's a setup I, I made. So this is from the front. I got the tripod right here. I got these two lights. This one's uh, more from the side, I guess, but it's still behind the subject. It's still behind the face. And also this uh, hot light uh, is, is behind the face. Uh, I got two snoots on it. You can see, so it's got a, a very harsh circular light uh, that's been, uh, the, the amount of light's been cut down because of the snoots that go over the, go over the, uh, the studio light here. And of course, like I said before, you know, these are very harsh lights. These are not soft lights like the softbox. Now, on the side here, on the side here, you'll see the softbox, and this is coming from the front to fill in detail. In other words, it's, come, it's, it's filling in the light from the front uh, so that information goes on to the face. Now, we carted it off because the intensity of the light, because this is continuous light and not a flash or, or a strobe light where it just pops, this is a continuous light that plugs into the wall socket and then uh, it's, uh, it continues on. Um, so it's just, you turn it on, you turn it off, and that's it with the, with the switch versus you know, hitting a strobe and having a very quick flash of light. So we carted it off so the intensity wouldn't be as bad. And that's why you see this strip in the eyes of, of my eyes just as much as you see it in Leonardo DiCaprio's eyes. And because he didn't have glasses on, you didn't have this glare issue either. I could fix the glare issue by angling my face a little bit and then adjusting the light. But um, for demonstration purposes, to show you what, guys where the light's coming from, this had to do. So here's another angle of it, and this is the left side where you see the softbox and then the harsh light in the back. And then, of course, the right side where you see the other harsh light coming down onto the subject. And if you look at the example on the website, that's more of a, a light that's coming down from the side from above. And that's how they were able to fill in the detail of this hair here because it's coming down from the side uh, versus um, versus uh, about eye level to the subject. Eye level probably wouldn't give it 
wouldn't uh, give as much detail in this hair it, um, if it were done that way. So, let's see. There's another side view, the right side view, or I'm sorry, the left side view from the photographer's point of view where the softbox and the the other light was. And the other light was it wasn't as high. We we kept it so we can fill in the detail, but we didn't get it as high as we got the one on the right side. The right side was taller than I was, so anyways. So here's the result. And the basically the way I added it. And if I was um closer to the background if I had the lights, if I was closer to the background and that soft box was closer closer to the background, this background would have been lit a little bit better. It's a little bit dark, you know, compared to the picture that you see online. As you can see, it is probably edited because you see the the black edge here looks like an edit, you know. But also, you can see this this darkening of the uh, hoodie that Leo was wearing that day is also edit edited so they probably did something close to this in other words they probably brought up the exposure here in the background and let's see let's bring that up a little bit to where it's gray that's how they brought out the background it's probably how they did it now this isn't going to be as clean as the uh, edit that Marco Grob or his assistants did but uh, we're going to get kind of close so it's a little bit grayish, right? And then we're going to turn this black and white as well. Sorry, let me do that. We're going to turn this black and white. And notice there's a lot of grays there. Let's see, there's because I just did that big, big broad brush stroke. The exposure is a little bit high, so bring it back down. Let's say bring it back down to about there. So. But the the other thing is, if you notice, oh, if you notice, the contrast is really high from the photo because notice that there's not a lot of the gray scale has been pulled, so there's not as much gray as you see in the first picture, right? Like if I if I went back in my effects in my adjustments, you know, you don't see as much. Um, you don't see as much contrast. So I increased the contrast to about 38, but I also increased the clarity up to about, I don't know, 37, something like that. And that gives it kind of more of that harsh look that uh, Marco Grubb has on his site. You can see on the side of the cheek there. But also you see that darkening of the shirt, and I'm going to pull my exposure all the way down four, four stops, which is a lot. And it's kind of got this nasty look. I actually am not really happy about the edit that they used for this shot as far as like editing the shirt out. I think it's kind of uh, crummy. They could have done a better job. But I mean, the important part is the look on the face. That's, that's what we're going for in this tutorial. But uh, that's a rough uh, way of how they edited the edited that shot so but uh, the most important thing of course is the lighting setup it's that that harsh light harsh lights from the back coming down raking against the face on both sides and then filling in the information with that light from the front with the softbox and that's how you you get that look so I'm Barry Anderson and uh, I hope you like uh, my channel. Please subscribe, and if you want to keep on seeing these tutorials, take care.